YouTube, how's everyone doing? One Shot bringing you guys a brand new episode of Vanguard Guns in 5 Minutes, a series here on the channel where we take a look at all of the guns within Call of Duty Vanguard, break down some gameplay, check out some class setups, and talk about the gun. If you are new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future Call of Duty content, and please be sure to hit that like button so more people can see this video, but let's go ahead and jump into today's gun. Now the gun we're going to be taking a look at today is the STG-44, and if you've played Call of Duties in the past, you definitely know the STG-44. This has been in every single World War II game, and it's been in games like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, in the current state of the game, the STG-44 is definitely very powerful. With a little bit of a slower fire rate, it's definitely easy to control the recoil pattern with the STG-44, and a lot of people are gravitating towards the STG-44 just because it is that first assault rifle that you do unlock. I definitely see a patch coming in the future in Call of Duty Vanguard that's going to address the STG-44 and just balance it out a little bit more to bring it on par with some of the other assault rifles. But in the current state of the game, the STG-44 is definitely a gun that you will want to run. And now just taking a look at some basic stats here for the STG-44, it's going to have a fire rate of 600 rounds per minute, which is pretty average. Definitely not the fastest, but not the slowest. I believe the NZ-41 is the slowest assault rifle in the game. And then a 29 base damage with a 43 vital or headshot damage, meaning that it will be a three to four shot kill. Now, if you guys have been playing Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer the last several days, you have definitely seen the STG-44 show up a lot in the kill feed. I know in a lot of my games, the STG and the MP40 definitely seem to be dominating and what guns people seem to be gravitating towards. But if we look back on some of the other Call of Duty titles like Modern Warfare and even Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, guns like the BAL and the M4A1, the first assault rifles that you unlock, are typically the assault rifles that most people use and the one at the end of the year that seems to outperform all of the other ones. So as I like to do with the guns in this series, I like to show you guys my class setup that I think makes this gun perform the best. So if we take a look at the class setup here, here's what I've been running to make the STG perform at the highest level. Starting it off with the muzzle, I like to run the scythe compensator. It's going to give me plus one recoil control with no negative downsides, and it's just going to make that recoil a little bit easier to control. Taking a look at the barrel here, I like to run the VDD 320 millimeter O2B. It's going to give me pluses on my aim down sight speed, my aim walking movement speed, as well as my sprint to fire speed. Only downsides here to this barrel is it's going to take away a little bit of my bullet velocity as well as my initial accuracy and recoil, which I don't care too much. For the optic, like most of my assault rifles, I like to run the slate reflector. You can run the NYDAR Model 47 if you'd like, but I just typically like to have an open sight that doesn't have as much zoom on it. For the stock, I'm running the Constanz Tactical Stock. It's going to give me plus four aim walking movement speed, plus four aim walking steadiness, as well as plus one initial accuracy and recoil. Downsides here, it's going to take away three to my sprint to fire speed, as well as one to my hip fire accuracy. But overall, this stock is going to allow me to be a lot faster or a little bit more responsive with the STG. Moving over to the barrel, I like to run the M3 ready grip like I do on most of my assault rifles. It's going to give me plus one aim down sight speed, plus one sprint to fire speed, as well as plus one aim walking movement speed. And then the only con here, just minus one to my recoil control. For the magazine, I like to run the 0 .30 Russian short 20 round mags. A lot of stuff going on here, but it's going to give me plus two bullet velocity and range, plus one damage, plus one bullet penetration, and plus one reload quickness. Cons is that it's going to to take away five of my recoil control and accuracy, two of my fire rate, minus one movement speed, and minus one aim down sight speed. So these magazines are going to be a little bit more high powerful, except the fire rate is going to go down a little bit and it's going to be a little bit easier to control. But I got to say, combining these with the incendiary rounds, which I run for my ammo type, is going to be crazy. So plus one incendiary damage with minus one bullet velocity and damage range. This thing is going to be firing at people and it's going to cause them to catch on fire, as well as having those high powered rounds this thing is going to be an absolute monster for the rear grip i like to run the stippled grip it's going to give me plus two recoil recovery and then plus one initial accuracy and recoil control so it's going to give me some recoil control recovery back from the downsides that i got from those ammo types and then finally for the proficiency here if you are running the stg 44 you have to run the vital proficiency this is going to increase the size of critical hit on enemies so basically it's going to make anything that's from the upper torso up a headshot and if you aim high this is definitely going to be one of the most useful attachments in the game it's going to give you so much damage and it's basically going to make this thing a two to three shot kill in every scenario but there you go guys that's my scg44 class setup 
SCG-44 is an absolute monster. Like many of you know, this thing is very overpowered at the moment, and I'm definitely expecting some kind of patch coming in the future, but as for now, this thing is a monster, so you'll definitely have to run it. But thank you for tuning in to another episode of Vanguard Guns in 5 Minutes, and I hope to see you in the next episode.